Hi guys, it's me again. Uh, I would like to go through some helpful hints on how to identify the bivalves, the, the clam-like critters. They start on page 7.14, 7.14. And so they are numbered 1 through 7. And here's the first one. The, this is a fairly common critter. Um, if you look here, some of the things that make this that are that are unique to this critter are see this oh, see this blue purpley spot area here that's really um, unique to this critter the other thing that that I want to call your attention to is if you look here from this side I have if I put the two halves together I would have this heart shaped they call it a lunule it's a little depression in the shell, but I want you to understand it does have a heart-shaped lunula. That's this piece right here. Okay? If I put the other half together with it, you could see it would do this. And that's where you get that heart shape. Okay? All right. Um, so that's number one. Number two is a fairly common shell, too. The, the cool thing about, the interesting thing about shell number two is that it, the two halves are not the same. Most of these, the two halves are pretty much the same. This one is a little different. This one has, if you look, it has this little structure here that kind of sticks off of one side. It's a kind of a spoon-shaped thing. It's called a chondrophore, and that's one of the things you'll need to un to to be able to key this this critter out okay um, let's move along here three is pretty straightforward I'm gonna let you do your own thing on this um, the one again most of these are really really common this is a very common shell um, I, I kind of think about what it looks like right here from the side okay and it's pretty straightforward Okay, some of you might already know what this is for a common name, but um, yeah, we'll I'll let it go at that. Okay, so moving right along, this is another really common shell. Um, the one couple of things you might want to know about this is that it does have this wedge shape. Okay, and the other thing is this is a deep, deep blue. That deep, dark, indigo blue is pretty straightforward and pretty indicative of this particular kind of shell. Okay. Uh, number five is one of the prettiest shells, I think. Uh, it has, it, the, the one thing that I want you to understand is what we're looking at here is the top half of the shell, the bottom half of the shell is usually glued to the bottom, glued to a rock, glued to some hard substrate, and so we don't really see the bottom, but there is a second piece to this, okay? But it comes in gold, orange, um, I've seen them blackish, not too, too much whitish, but but oftentimes this, this yellow color, very pretty shell, so I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, six is very straightforward. We're not looking at the whole shell, unfortunately. It's pretty fragile. If you if you kept this going, it would probably come out like this, and then around, and then so it, it's just you're just missing a little piece of it. But um, I want you to understand there are two halves. So here's the inside. Here's the outside. Okay. Uh, but it's pretty distinct. Okay. Seven is. Uh, a really cool shell. Does it look familiar? It, it should. This is the shell that they use for shell oil and uh, shell gasoline, you know, shell shell gas. This this is fairly common shell. Uh, really cool critter. Uh, one of the things or some of the things that you should really kind of key on here is that it has these ribs that form a fan shape. Okay. And, and that's pretty uh, indicative. The other thing is 
these little wing-like structures on either side of the of the the shell itself are pretty important for identification okay so having having seen this video you should now have the tools to identify all of the shells in this in this uh, little assignment or in these two little assignments so if you have any questions or problems please let me know uh, you can email me I can do a Google chat with you or on Friday we will be doing I will be hosting a Google chat to see how you guys are doing with this if you have any questions or problems or concerns or you just want to check with me you can pop me an email and say hey is this right and I'll and I'll I'll let you know and I'll help you out okay all right so Thank you very much, and I will see you soon.